Hello, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This is another non-stamping up card, apart from the sentiment. Um, I'll bring it up closer, maybe you could see the snow on the the roof and on the um, fence, top of the fence and the trees. It's quite a nice how can I show you the dimensionals? I can't. I'll show you how I made it anyway. To make this, I used this stamp last year, I think, on a scenery. It is this Arcure stamping system. They are British. I can tell that by the um, phone number and the uh, website is www.artcure.com and that is obviously that stamp. I am going to be changing the colour of the cardstock. This is a retired one which I just did to practice some. I am going to do it on Mary Marla. Um, how did I open this? Oh that opened tenfold. This one's going to open long ways, that way. So we've got a card base of 11 and 3 quarters, scored at 5 and five, five and 7 eighths, folded in half and scored. Scored. Burnished. A piece of Mary Marla at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. A piece of silver foil card at five inches by three inches, and then we have a piece of white card stock at two and seven eighths by four and seven eighths, and that will sit in the middle there. The Merry Christmas come from a retired stamp set, um, Merry Pattern. And I just use that Merry Christmas only because it goes in this punch, the tag punch, label punch. So that's what I use there. And I'm using the stars from Night of Bethlehem, just the stars. So, get started, we're going to stamp the house, or the scene, which is... Here, and I'm going to use Memento Black on it because I don't want it to be too dark, she says, and it doesn't stick on the block. nice like that this is just a grey rubber stamp but if you watched my um, videos last Christmas you would have seen me use this last Christmas plus um, two other stamps I've got made by the same people they were my friend Brenda's from her stash. Then I got a piece of scrap paper. And you need one. With some smoky slate ink. And the stars. And all I did was went around the edge and stamp some stars in there you 
try not to lean on them too hard because I don't want to over stamp. nice might not look nice at the moment but we do have to color it all in and that's that then I'll just put that to one side bring this in bring out my Versafine and stamp Merry Christmas punch and punch this out that's our sign we'll keep that don't need that Right, what we're going to do is colour this in and I have got a light balmy blue, light crumb cake, light soft suede and dark old olive. In fact I need dark mossy meadow not dark old olive. There we are. So, with the dark old olive, I am just going to go in where the green shows on the tree under the snow. Just to give it some greenery. And I knew there was another tree. And now I just put a bit of green in this first so that I haven't got any. Um, snow on them. It's on there. Just lots of little dots. Right. Um, a crumb cake. Oh, I know what I've forgotten. Daffodil uh, Delight. Dark Daffodil Delight. And this is to colour in the windows. With this being an old English cottage, the windows are quite small. I think that's oh no, that's one there. to the cottage in crumb cake
chimneys. Um, and with the soft suede, I just did the fence post. Didn't go too mad on these, I just went stroke down them. There's a gate there. Just under the snow, go a bit. Now you can see the top of the fence. And the line that goes holding the wood together. the old olive for the bits of the hedgerow that are not covered in snow And then, with the balmy blue, I went round the outside for the skyline. Good. You know, for the sky. a mess. I don't want it to be harsh. I want it to be soft. But it's not working. There you are. Right, and now for the magic. I have got some glossy accents and I decanted it into these little bottles because you can um, control it better, she says, and need to get it started. That's it. 
and all I did was wherever there was snow I put glossy accent um, all over the roof Covered the whole roof in glossy accent. Smudge it all about. Do you know I think I should have stuck this card down before I did this. Bit late for that now. And then over the fence, top of the fence where there's snow, and here. And this little tree. I think I got it all. And then, Something I dread. I got some glitter. This is glamour dust, and it's a little shaker. And all I did was sprinkle glitter all over the picture, covered it all, all where I've put the um, glossy accent. Make sure there's plenty on it. And then I ooh, shook it off. And that is what I've got. A glittery, a bit of dimensional Christmas scene. Now if I turn it up, I have to be quick and put it down. I think you can just see the dimensional on it. Alright, and now this glitter. I can. Back in there, and there's glitter everywhere now. Um, I need a piece of card. Right, let's stick this down. Stick this on the silver. Evenly. 
card base. straight that is it that's better but this one isn't very straight so if I can rescue it yeah doing today and that is not straight Have to be careful with this. Oh. It's hardening, which is good. Right now, then, I um, what have I got to do? Oh, stick the um, label sentiment on, which I'm going to put on with dimensionals. I'm using here. I've got a pile of glitter on my table, and it's annoying me. Anything in the middle of that? No, I didn't. What can I put in? What was this? No, I don't want to put that. I'm just going to sit that inside there and I'm going to find a sentiment to put inside. I should do that off camera because I haven't got nothing near me which will do as a sentiment. So there's that. I wish you could see that better. I don't know how well it's coming up on.
camera. But it is nice. So that's it in Mary Marla. And this was perfect plum, I think. I know it's not perfect plum, it's not a Christmas colour. But I've got the card, so I'll use it. I hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And um, if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified, supposedly, by YouTube that I've uploaded another video, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and hope to see you again soon.